Hey, Moon Magic Super Souls, welcome to today's readings. We are seeing what is happening for you in August. Wow, look at that, three cards straight off the bat, just coming straight out of the pack for you. I was about to say, and we will draw three cards together, but the three cards have literally shown themselves. So we're asking what's happening in August. The energy is very dynamic astrologically in August so a lot could be happening and potentially quite fast even though there are many big planets in retrograde as well and indeed we begin with uh, Mercury in retrograde as well so let's check out your cards straight away and see what we're shown and I will draw charms and runes as well thank you for being here it's a privilege to read for you and it's an absolute blessing to be connected with all of you welcome back if you're a part of the moon magic tarot community and welcome to anyone new. So, pile one, lizard, regeneration. This is the card for pile one and we are asking what is happening for you in August. For pile two, we have sea turtle, protection. This is for pile two. And then for pile three, we have hummingbird, miracles. This is pile three. Okay. Wow and more wow is what I feel like already. So that's pretty cool, pretty exciting. The energy's buzzing, actually. I mean, I know August is going to be dynamic, but wow. Right, so let's draw a rune or see what runes come through for each of the piles. For those of you who I know like a little bit more information, I know some of you love the runes and the charms as well. Beautiful souls, if you already know which of the piles is speaking to you, sometimes it's more than one, sometimes there's more than one message, you know, the timestamps are in the description box and I put them in a comment too, so just zap straight through to the readings if you wish. Okay, so pile one, two runes are coming out for you. We have Manas, the self, and Degas, breakthrough. So those are two runes coming for pile one. Two again for pile two. We have the rune of Anzus. This is signals. And we also have Inga's fertility. That is for pile two. And then for pile three, two runes again. We have Fehu, this is the rune of possessions, nourishment, and Wunjo, the rune of joy. Okay, how very interesting. This is really, really interesting. The alignments of these, mind-blowing already. Let's draw some charms. I'm not gonna say anything till we get to the readings. Okay, this is so magical, it's untrue. Right, so pile one, you have a beautiful little cat sitting in a moon. This came out for a reading not long ago, actually. And given I've got a big bag of many charms, that's remarkable, really. Then for pile two, <laughs> this just just come out in another reading. Wow. Okay, I think this came out on the Sunday readings that I did. Wow, we have the swift or the swallow. I'm not sure if it's a swift or a swallow, but we have this beautiful bird. And then for pile three. We have a hand, a little hand with a star, a six pointed star. Can I show that up to you? Can you see that? I think so. So that is for pile three. So beautiful souls, these are the cards, the runes, the charms for today's readings. What is happening for you in August? What messages can we be given, gifted for you to assist you? Um, let's find out. I'll leave the video running for a few moments longer for anyone that wants to just take a bit more time. If you do run out of time, you can always press the pause button. But beautiful souls, um, yeah, I am really, really excited about these readings. There is a real magical energy around them. So I will see you in a few moments in the readings. Tons of love and thank you so, so much, all of you for being here.
Kyle one, welcome to your reading. So what is happening for you in August? We are seeing what looks to be a, a significant turning point, a breakthrough actually. You have the rune of breakthrough, manas, the rune of the self. Lizard regeneration, let me read this to you, it's fascinating. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt, embrace your transformation, put on your new cloak, you are a master of regeneration. Now, I kind of feel like with the energy of August, it's kind of a really fascinating, I don't know, like a conundrum, if that's the right word, because in a way there's a ton of retrograde energy going on. So we can expect reflection, stuff from the past coming back up that maybe we need to deal with. We can expect there to be some interruptions, some delays, but with purpose to slow us down, to approach life differently perhaps. But at the same time, the energy is very, very dynamic and potentially we could see quite a lot of fast, fast and furious communications. So I find this really interesting for you. Regeneration. Now, as a survivor, this is suggesting to me that maybe something from the past is showing up in your world. But you have an invitation here to, to shift something, to do it differently, to regenerate. I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to dive straight into your cards. Let's get some oracle cards first. What is happening for pile one in the month of August? Okay, there is your first card and there is your second. We have Increum in create rather in createm that is how you say it the uncreated wow okay actually i'm going to put that down there the uncreated and nebula fog ah your reading is already beginning to kind of make sense actually the uncreated and fog let's see what else we are showing i felt very drawn to astrology cards today and also i've got some angel cards too fourth house roots I have Archangel Michael cards. This is pack was really leaping out for me. Your vibration is rising. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you. You are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. Transformation. Step into the spotlight. You have a message the world needs to hear. It's time to share your wisdom. Well, wow, this is a dynamic month for you. Fourth house roots. I think something takes root for you. The uncreated nebula fog. I feel like there is possibly a very fast a very fast, it's not exactly an uprooting, but more that something takes roots and suddenly starts to blossom. Your vibration is rising. Suddenly you could be stepping into the spotlight. You get seen, you get acknowledged, you get validated. Um, there is a sudden rising of something, something you've dreamed of. Lizards are all for me about the dream time. So something you have dreamed of suddenly it takes hold and it happens but I feel like it could happen very quickly leaving you almost feeling like you were not quite prepared for how it is and I don't mean that negatively I mean if something goes massive something goes viral or something you've been longing for just suddenly emerges and happens you know it, it can sweep you off your feet the energy of this you're like, wow, you know, I, this is what I, this is everything I wanted. But, you know, almost like you, you, you can't sort of, you barely caught your breath. Make sure you take time to reflect. You can handle this. You can handle this transformation. You can do it. You absolutely can. This is something, it's like a, I almost want to say as well, like a, it's not exactly a needle in a haystack, but this really feels like something is being threaded, like threading a needle. 
when you thread a needle, you, you kind of need to get very still and be very precise about what you're doing. You know, it's, it's not always easy to see, you know, when you're, if you've got a tiny needle and a tiny thread. But your vibration is rising. I, I, I think something takes off in August for you. Let's draw some more cards and see what else we're showing. Let's draw some tarot packs. I, I think this is a very dynamic month for you. You may feel like you barely come up for air, but you're going to be fine. You can handle everything, okay? You really, really can. It is dynamic. It is forward motion. That I, I'm seeing forward motion. I'm seeing something step up despite the retrograde energy. Let's take these. I'm also seeing this and this and also this. We have. Look at this. Sorry, I just had to jump to this. You, you could not write it. Look at the look at this. The six of wands in the spotlight again. So you have the ten of wands first of all, then the six of wands in the stop spotlight again. You have temperance. You have eight of wands. So it's happening quickly. <laughs> it's happening fast. Okay, this is something you have actually worked for. You haven't got there. You know, it's it's not like a suddenly, I don't know, you win the lottery and, and everything just falls into place. You've worked for this. You've worked really, really hard for this. This is something that pays off, Six of Pentacles. It is pretty magical. You know, Three of Swords and Strength. Mm, what have we got here? I want some clarifying cards around these, actually, because this is everything you've ever wanted. So why, why is there a Three of Swords energy here as well? And this, I mean, you can see your way through this with no problem. You can handle anything as it comes. You're, you are amazing. You can regenerate. This is the breakthrough moment that you personally have been waiting for. It's fab. Interesting, I've put this in reverse. It was not intentional, but how fascinating that I did that. Fast moving energy, Eight of Wands. Why did I put it in reverse? Maybe you're needing to slow down. Keep in balance here. Keep your mind in balance. Don't do your own head in over the success or fears of success or fears of whether or not you can handle it. Let's draw more cards. May we have guidance, please, or clarification around the Three of Swords. May I have clarification around the Three of Swords? What is this about? May I please have clarification around the Three of Swords? May I please have clarification around the Three of Swords? I'm seeing this and this. You have the Hermit, you have the Chariot, you have the Nine of Pentacles, oh this is gorgeous, and you have the Four of Wands. This is really lovely. Okay, I actually think it is such a radical shift in your circumstances, that's what I've got to say. I feel this is a radical shift in your circumstances. Being in the limelight, the success that comes with this. I don't think this is a small success. I think it's a big success. Well, you know, I know everything's relative and it's what this will mean to you. But I actually feel like it's, it's such a departure from, it creates a departure from where you've been. It's a level of success that opens up I mean, it is. It's a massive regeneration. Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. This, this is really, I think, pretty life-changing. So whatever this spotlight is about, whatever stepping up into the, the, the limelight, being seen, the success, I mean, it's, it's absolutely visible. It's being shown here. So whatever this success is, However it lands, you can handle it. Success does come in reality with challenge. I'm just, I just have to say that because it does. 
if you become um, famous overnight, let's just say hypothetically, I remember um, talking to one of my daughters about something like this, a friend of hers, um, you know, whose name I'm not going to voice, but a friend of hers got a role in a movie, the movie went really, really big, and overnight she was literally a star, you know, heralded as a superstar, it was an amazing film. And immediately, you know, her, you, you know, her social media, all the kind of stuff that was previously just little her in her world, doing her best, working her socks off to, to try and move towards success, suddenly, you know, she was like this sort of gold dust person. And she needed help, actually. She actually had to get help to help with the social media and all and the management of all the stuff that was then, from that moment onwards, going on in her world, because it was life-changing. You know, this is major success that we're seeing here. And because it's life-changing, I think it brings with it, you know, you could say a set of problems, but you know, hey, own your success, pile one. This is something you have worked solidly for. This isn't something that's out of the blue. This is something you have worked for. You may have thought you'd never get there. You may have felt like it would be like finding a, a needle in a haystack that your success could ever come. But I think a part of you has always dreamed it and you've always wanted it and you've always held it in your mind. And this is the point when in terms of working in isolation, suddenly you are sitting in your success. Whatever this is for you, what we do see with the Four of Wands as well is a card of ultimate celebration. With the Chariot, often this is moving something forward. So moving from a place where you have worked solidly on your own to a place where you can make commitments and collaborate. Again, where you're seen, therefore you may need extra help. It may even be like the, a contract. It's the winning contract that, that, you know, within the context of your world, this is the, the big win. But I think something amazing is going to take place that puts you in the spotlight within the context of your world. It removes you from a place of working solidly in isolation to the point where you get the breakthrough. It's not without its challenges. I've got to say this I, with the Three of Swords. It isn't without its challenges, simply because suddenly becoming big comes with a set of challenges. People see you differently. It'd be like getting the promotion of a lifetime. And suddenly all of your colleagues and your peers who were your best mates, suddenly you're earning six times more than they are. You're at the top of the ladder. And you know, in many ways, the decisions you make affect them on a daily basis. It's gonna change all those relationships. That's not easy. You know, it can feel really confusing. It's not easy. But it's also fabulous at the same time. And you can handle this, you can adjust. This is such an affirmation. You know, as a survivor, you are unparalleled. I'll say something more about this in a moment, actually. But let me read. No matter what happens, you can adjust, embrace your transformation, put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. This is the bit I want to voice as, as a survivor, you are unparalleled. I think you are someone who has picked themselves up and you have worked your socks off to be who you are today. Big respect to you, Pile One, okay? You have worked your socks off. This is deserved, something takes root. But it's not easy. But you have the life skills to handle challenge because you've handled challenges, actually, to be honest, that were much, much bigger without, in, in far more difficult circumstances. So to be honest, I think handling success, whilst it will come with, it will come with a package of stuff, it's also going to come with a massive package of amazingness that you can create and build the kind of world and the level that comes from this level of success that you have desired. So have the strength, see it through, know that you can do this. And whatever challenges come with the success, you can absolutely handle it, just know it and embrace it. I mean, everything here is suggesting this is fab. I'm gonna draw one more card from another angel pack just to complete your reading. Okay, remain positive. Wow. I feel like I've got to draw another one in the light of that because of this Three of Swords. I wonder if you are really, God, you know, I wonder if there are people in your world who just look at you and think, well, you know, I don't know, 
bit like your colleagues and suddenly they don't want to know you and it really hurts. Remain positive. I think there'll be a turnaround maybe. Let's ask. Can we just get a little bit more of an inkling about that, please? Be assertive. Hold your own. Wow. Being assertive, stepping up and saying, do you know what? What's your problem? If you were successful, if you just made it to the top, I'd be with you 100%. And yet here you are, you know, behaving like an envious, spoiled child. Not that you have to say that, but you know, you get the feeling, you get what I mean, the gist of this. Be assertive, you know, don't back down here. And ask for help from others. What a wonderful, wonderful card. It's kind of like, do you know what? I really, if people are being a bit shitty, it's like, do you know what? I was, I was really looking forward to sharing my success and I could do with some help here. Ask for it. You know, really rise up. And I think you'll get what you need, my beautiful souls, because we've got this wonderful card. Four of Wands of commitment, of celebration, and often, often within a community. I think whatever the immediate impact of your success is, which I think comes with a degree of challenge, if I'm honest, just because I think it can and it will, I think also as long as you are assertive and you reach out and you're really clear, I think absolutely you'll come through this and out the other side with flying colours absolute flying colours and with people walking with you. It'll really sort out those that are absolutely with you and those those that maybe are you're kind of leaving behind. But in all honesty, if you're leaving people like that behind, then you're leaving them behind because they're probably not suited for the world that you are stepping up into. You know, remember, your vibration is rising. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you. You are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. You have a role to play. So step up, be assertive and ask for help from the right people. And indeed, when you ask for help, the right people will be coming forwards for you. Wow. Keep us posted, Pile One. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Keep us posted. Let us know how these opportunities or whatever this is for you, how it emerges, whatever success being in the limelight will mean for you, let us know. Whether this is personal or professional, you know, or a mixture of both, however it is, keep us posted. It is wonderful to read your comments and hear how your worlds are emerging. Beautiful souls, thank you for being a part of the Moon Magic Tarot family here. It's amazing to be collected with you all. Um, I post these readings on Tuesdays, Fridays, always on Sunday for weekly guidance. Don't forget if you want to never miss a reading as soon as I upload it, subscribe and press the little bell icon. And beautiful souls, uh, I look forward to seeing you again for some other readings really, really soon. Tons of love, Pile One. Pile two, welcome to your reading. You have got the rune of signals, Anzus, and you have fertility, Ingus. I feel you are being guided in some way to move swiftly towards something, to some completion, to some success. Now we have the sea turtle protection. You are master of finding life's flow. Be in harmony with the rhythm and your path will unfold. Persevere and you will succeed. You have everything you need to be protected and happy. I feel August for you could be pretty productive. I'm not saying it will be without, won't be without its interruptions. There's too much retrograde energy to assume that everything is just going to run smoothly. But with perseverance and consistency everything is going to flow as it should I feel you have quite a lot to achieve actually this is what's coming through here with the turtle energy you've got quite a lot to achieve maybe deadlines to meet some of you but you will be protected and guided so even if it feels like things are not moving forwards I think this is one of those times when you're going to need to continue and trust that the energy is actually aligning for you. If we think about retrograde energy, 
sometimes we do get interruptions, but the purpose, the bigger picture, is usually to show us something else that's going to be of value, to bring a sign to us or a signal to help us to actually get to where we need to be, but with a greater amount of detail or in the right way. There is a purpose to it. Let's draw some more cards for you and see what we are shown. May we have guidance and information for pile two about the month of August, please. May we ask what is happening in August, please. We have the void and we have sublimation. Mm. Okay, I'm actually going to put those down here, I think. It kind of works better. Yeah. I think, my beautiful souls, this really is like a month of, of kind of like surrender, surrender to the flow. Trust that everything that happens, everything that happens has a purpose. You may not know what it is. You may be thinking, that's not worked again. Why is that not working? It would be like, you know, if you go to do something uh, and it just doesn't run smoothly. It's probably not exactly the right time. Maybe you're meant to do that a little bit later and there's, or there's something else that's calling you as another priority and maybe the, the order of things you were working in is not the right order for you for some reason. There's going to be a bigger picture. You will be protected and guided. This is about aligning with the flow with a recognition that flow doesn't always mean moving fast. Sometimes it's a windy road rather than a straight one, but aligning with the natural rhythm and flow and harmony of the natural world. So there will be some stops and starts for you during August, but ultimately everything is going to flow. You'll meet the deadlines if you have them that you need to. You'll literally be shown signs and signals along the way and you will achieve the fertility you need. However, I'm not sure it'll happen in exactly the way that you think it's gonna happen. That's what we're really being shown here. There may well be some interruptions along the way. May we please look at this Grand Cross Provoker. May we please have more guidance and information for my beautiful pile two. Grand Cross Provoker. So something comes in. I do feel there could be some significant interruptions for you. It's not here to cause you a problem. It's actually here to provoke a different way of seeing something or a different way of doing something. Can we get some more information? Could we get some specifics, please? Archangel Michael is with you now. Even though you can't see it, he says, I am actively working on this situation. I am here and helping you. Open up to your spiritual gifts. Remember that your true nature is spiritual, not physical. The angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth. Okay, so I do genuinely feel that there may well be some things that are, or something that happens. It may already be happening around you. There could be something that's going on around you that you're having to deal with. And to be honest, as opposed to just flowing smoothly and gently and your world just progressing and you're meeting your deadlines and everything is feeling wonderful and kind of cushy, actually suddenly up comes something or an interruption or a diversion or a, and you just feel like you've stepped into the void. It's like, where do you go now? What do you do next? Well, actually, this is the point of surrender. This is actually going to see you through something or give you another piece of information. It's going to open you up to some element of your spiritual gifts that are will be really valuable and really important. So whatever comes along, whatever in interrupts. Just trust. There's a higher purpose going on here. There is a surrender needed. It's not always easy. I sort of feel like you've got a lot to achieve and a lot to accomplish. And this could feel quite challenging. On the other hand, there's actually purpose and benefit to it. There really is. And that's one of the messages that's coming through for you, Pile 2. Let's get more information. How is this happening? So we have the Magician. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Ten of Swords. Okay, I'm seeing these cards and also this one as well. 
Okay, we then have the King of Swords. We've got the Five of Cups. We've got Two of Swords. We've got the Five of Pentacles. How interesting. Mm. I do think something possibly from... I almost want to say maybe from the past. Something... There's something going on where you feel either pushed out or kept out or disappointed or as if something hasn't, you haven't been given all the information here. And as a consequence, but this is interesting, isn't it? Look, we've got two fives and two tens. I'm seeing you walk away from something really here or walk to something. I'm seeing you take charge of something, some let go, letting go of something that was a burden, something that was disappointing. Aha, right. So I'm having an aha moment in your reading, The Void. I think something that you thought you were on track with was something that you thought had longevity or that you thought would work out or you know just a pathway something that we, you thought was consistent i think it changes provoker it, and actually the purpose of it is for you to change direction the purpose of it is for you to do something that's different archangel michael is actually really actively helping with this I think there is a different route for you to take or a different pathway. This could be as big as, I don't know, suddenly, made, suddenly you're made redundant. You thought you were, you know, you thought you were in a steady job with a steady career and suddenly, you know, the company's going to close down overnight and you thought everything was on track. And it's like it throws you into the void. And, do you know, you have no option but to submit because the company's closing, the company's closing. I'm not saying this is, this is how it's going to be. This is just an example of the kind of energy. And, but actually, it causes you to leave something behind and walk towards something new. I think you step up into something. And it, it sort of almost ignites your creativity with the magician here. I think it truly, honestly, takes you in, and potentially for some of you, in a new direction. And the new direction is way better for you than the one you were on. It's just that this comes, it feels like it's come out of the blue. This wasn't what you were expecting. The fact that we have this beautiful card with these hummingbirds on, very conscious as well that pile three, the card for pile three is hummingbird. So if pile three is of, an inter is of interest to you, if you were kind of drawn to it as well, it's it may well be worth watching. This is a card of joy. Hummingbirds are joy. It's, this is really honoring the fact that even if something doesn't run smoothly and that there are interruptions, that there is a bigger picture. Something of real benefit is coming to you, actually. Let's draw some more cards. We'll draw some tarot cards first and ask about August for pile two. Could we have more guidance as to how this happens or what the bigger picture is about or the details of this, please? May we seek guidance and information, further information, please. I see this and this and this. Thank you for that. And this and these two we have the page of wands look at this looking ahead we have the four of Pentacles okay I think something happens that causes you to have to reevaluate now of course that's part of retrograde energy but look what it's taking you to the ten of cups it's, it's a new future, a different future. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the King of Cups. And we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I think something comes along. And the, the irony is, 
it's actually opening a doorway and leading you in a different direction that is perfect for you. It is something that is so much better than the current status quo in some area of your life. Something happens that causes you to look forwards. Don't, don't cling. The four of pentacles can have a, a bit of a clingy energy here. If you cling to the familiar, you know, then, then something of a, a really bright future will kind of not be available for you so don't cling to it this this is purely a stepping stone on your own progression there is something you need to leave behind and even though it feels jolting or jarring or an interruption or you know just keep going persevere and you will succeed you are being protected just trust that anything and everything that happens is part of the actual flow it really takes me to something i said right at the start you know when we talk about going with the flow sometimes we kind of almost see that as being something that will just flow like life will flow and it will all be so easy and so straightforward going with the flow means that we are flexible adaptable and flow means that we just go with whatever is happening and we surrender sublimation we surrender to the divine we surrender to the circumstances and trust that whatever is happening is happening with a higher purpose and if some if a doorway is closing then another is opening you know so or if there is a diversion it's because there's a better route let's draw some angel cards as well for you some more angel cards may we please have additional guidance for pile two we have this situation will be improved and look for a sign well I mean you could not write it could you really signs signals synchronicities the situation will improve if there is anything going on around you already beautiful souls that you feel is a real challenge for you August will be the month when it turns around August will be the month when doorways open for you signs will be shown for you look for signs if you feel like you're in a void and the key here is to uh, just is the sublimation just uh, surrender surrender to the fact that the universe knows best the universe knows that there is a higher purpose a bigger mission for you let your spiritual self be guided rather than your head which could be tangled in worrying about what's going on and whether it's going to work or not and why it isn't working and so upset and cross and heartbroken that something isn't happening and feeling as though you, it's disappointing and you're left out in the cold if it hasn't worked it was meant to not work because there is something else if it hasn't worked that in itself is a sign but the situation will improve whatever is going on for you or whatever the interruption or diversion or whatever it is that happens in August is happening I think for many of you it's around you already there is something better for you absolutely I'm seeing you walking away look at, I mean to have all of these tens ten of wands ten of swords ten, um, sorry all these tens the eight of cups which is also walking away here am I think thinking of it as a ten we've got progression as well haven't we we've got the eights the nine the tens beautiful souls isn't it interesting I was almost seeing this because of the figure walking away yes it's got a, a 10 energy a completion an ending but you're walking towards something so a period of oppression difficulty challenge I think will come to an end of not knowing I think it's going to come to an end you, you're going to find your agency with the king of swords but my beautiful souls it is hard when things don't run smoothly and I'm so sorry if that is the case already around you or again if something comes and it feels like it's an interruption but there is purpose to it it is simply honestly guiding you to something that is so much better so much more right so surrender to the flow however that feels and remember it's not necessarily a free-flowing fast forward although with the card of swift I think things could happen swiftly could be very swift changes but it could leave you feeling like it's like where did that come from what am I going to do now well trust surrender and the way will be shown pile two 
thank you for being here this is your reading for august keep us posted let us know in the comments how you're doing come back to the home channel and of uh, the moon magic home channel and you know find the reading again let us know keep us updated it's lovely to read your comments and to hear how your lives are moving forwards and how you're navigating things because you know you guys are very inspirational so thank you so so much for being here um I post these readings Tuesdays, Fridays and every Sunday for weekly guidance. So if you want to make sure that you never miss a reading and you catch it as soon as I upload it, don't forget to subscribe and press the little bell icon. And beautiful pile too. I look forward to seeing you for another reading really, really soon. Tons and tons of love. This may be slightly disruptive, a slightly disruptive August, but do you know there is a bigger picture and you are so coming out of this in the direction and in the place and in, in where you need to be this is a real you know classic sort of the universe giving you what you need not necessarily what you thought you wanted but whatever comes to you it, it is a sign and it really is giving you um something that's absolutely essential for your pathway at this time tons of love Pile three, welcome to your reading. You have Fehu, the rune of possessions, and the rune of joy as well. Wunjo, hummingbird, is also about joy, miracles, and this beautiful hand. I feel like something, a blessing, could literally be handed to you. Hummingbird, miracles, you are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. This is beautiful. I feel like something is handed to you. And sort of almost in return, you're... I guess you get to share it with people. Just, just the very essence of your joy is going to radiate out and benefit many others. Uh, let's find out more. Let's draw some more cards. May we please inquire about the month of August for Pile 3. Okay, that is definitely your first card. You have sugar. Oh, how gorgeous. This is something very sweet and delicious coming to you, that's for sure. May we also see what else your shame would draw. Do you know, I think you've got three cards. Well, you're the first pile that has had three cards. Do you know, I hate to say this. Well, I don't hate to say it at all. I'm going to say it. I think you've got four. I've picked up the pack and there's a card left on, on my desk just next to me. And I think that's yours as well. Okay. Well, you're just, this, this feels like an abundance coming to you. So we've got more cards than any other pile so far. So we have sugar. We have the uncreated. We have dissolution. And we have the new pearl. Wow. Goodness me, that's very wow, actually. Wow, wow, and more wow. I want to say just dive into, dive into what is coming. I do feel like a real miracle happens in some way, shape or form. It, it does with the rune of, of possessions, nourishment. I mean, this kind of speaks of ambition satisfied. I feel it's got more of a flavor of a wish being delivered to you. Mir like a miracle, really. Something that is going to make you really happy to the point where um, I, I hope that you have all experienced this at some point in your life. I was about to say, do you know when? But, you know, I hope you've all experienced this at some point when something just magical happened and you could not stop smiling from ear to ear it's it's got that nothing could bring you down <laughs> you know nothing could touch you your energy is one of pure joy what else do we have here for my beautiful pile threes fourth house roots this did come out this card i think in pile one i think you almost like you put down roots. It's like you, you find an anchor point. Embrace your life's purpose. I am guiding you towards your divine life purpose. Whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. 
trust the guidance you're receiving. Archangel Uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. I'm also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance. Wow. I just feel like you're blessed, basically. August In August, there is a blessing for you. Something is being handed to you, a gift, a miracle. It's going to make you happy. You're going to be, yeah, literally, you're going to be beaming, smiling from ear to ear. And it is without any doubt a direction that you are meant to be going in. It's what you're meant to be doing right now, whatever that may be for you. Let's draw some tarot cards, see what else we are showing. May we ask for pile three, what is happening in August? In fact, let's ask, what is this gift? What is to be handed to pile three? What is to be handed to pile three in August, please? Okay, so you have the card of strengths. You have the card of the moon. You have the eight of wands. You have the page of swords and you have the card of judgment. I'm seeing you rise here. Liberation, freedom. These are the words that are singing to me here. Now the page of swords, the light bulb moment or a learning, some element of learning. It's something very sweet. Hmm. I do actually feel for some of you, this, it, this could literally be something quite unexpected. quite a sudden opening really a sudden something it's it, even though it's something you desire and it makes you happy I, I the rune of fehu um nourishment possessions unexpected gains rewards surprises it can sometimes indicate that something suddenly happens or suddenly arrives that you just didn't see coming gifted with something if it, it, it would be like if there had been something, especially with the moon as well here. It could be like having some unexpected news that you had, I don't know, gained an inheritance or something, something happens that you weren't expecting. And it really, it, it frees you, it liberates you, it lifts. It, it dissolves something, it, it removes something, it dissolves something. Some fear is, it, it just dissolves and goes away. Maybe you had some anxiety around something. Something comes to light, something is gifted to you that removes all those fears, all those anxieties that you were having about a situation or a person or a circumstance. Something that you were even potentially kind of doing battle with. Suddenly all of those concerns vanish that they're no longer a problem for you. You just don't have to deal with it anymore. Something that's maybe weighed heavy is lifted. Something comes to light. Let's get more information for you. May we have further information about what it is that maybe comes to light or how does this emerge? How does this emerge? Trust the guidance you're receiving. Archangel Ariel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. The light bulb moment, something you become aware of. What is it that this is? Can we ask for more guidance and information around this, please? Could we ask for more guidance and information around this epiphany, this light bulb moment? What is it that changes? What is it that transforms? What is it that makes pile three so happy? Temperance. Wow, Good. these are huge cards. You've got temperance, you've got the sun. You have the two of cups. You have the five of swords and you have the magician. Okay. 
Now, temperance is interesting because it can indicate, again, a kind of a message, something guidance, something being brought to you to bring something back into balance. It can mean higher guidance. The sun is source energy. It's the card of happiness. Two of cups, it could be love. Because we have the five of swords, Sometimes with the Five of Swords, somebody kind of ends up with egg on their face a little bit over something. Maybe you receive validation in some way, shape or form of your role. I mean, this again, it could be like a major bonus that you're gifted, you're given a major bonus. You're validated, you're acknowledged, you, you've been of service. And then someone comes along and says, I, I wish to reward you for your service. You've been amazing. Something is very sweet. There's a real, there's a real sweet honey, hummingbird, miracle flavor. The, some, something is gifted to you here. There's no question of it. A, a gift, and it means that you are able to, to be in a... It, yeah, this feeling of liberation, re relaxation. If, if you have been struggling with money worries, for example, this would be the something that enables you to not worry about money anymore. Maybe the epiphany is that you see how to achieve something that you wanted to achieve, how to acquire the backing or the finances, but something is gifted to you. Let's get some angel cards for you, my lovely pile three. This feels like such a blessing for you. It really does. An acknowledgement, a validation. Don't stop. Okay. Trust. There's something better. Okay. That's interesting. May we please ask for more information? I'm seeing this for you. Perfect timing. Okay. Right. Hmm. There is a real new opportunity coming to you. You are being gifted with an opening. I'm going to get more cards for you. More, more information, please. In fact, let's draw from the first tarot pack we were using. Don't stop, there's something better, perfect timing. I want to say don't look back. Don't look back. This could be an opportunity, like an opportunity to speak or an opportunity to, yeah, there is an opportunity. However this comes to you, I really, really do think this opportunity is in itself a miracle. Trust, because it's taking you to something better. It's bringing you something new. It's transforming something of your circumstances from a space of struggle or lack to a place where you can put down roots, know who you are, establish yourself. Yeah, look at that. We have the Empress. This is a card of nurture, abundance, of course, possessions, fehu nourishment. This is an opening or a gift of something that you can nourish to bring forth. So it could be a new relationship, it could be a job opportunity, it could be an idea that will need nourishing, it will need nurture. But it's absolutely meant to happen. The timing, the divine timing is there. It is meant to happen at this moment in time. It is worthy of your investment and of following through. It's going to make you very, very happy. Yeah, look at this. This is like a dream come true. So something, a window of opportunity, a gift in the form of a someone or a something coming to you. This is a dream come true. So this is really about accepting this dream, going for it, even though it's not yet created and it means that something of your world is going to dissolve. It's because it's better. It's meant to happen. It's absolutely better. Eight of Cups, you are going to leave. I always feel, I say you're going to leave a lot behind, but I feel with this Eight of Cups, she's really walking towards the light. 
We have two eights, eight of swords. It's going to remove you from the tangle of anxiety or concern. There is something that you have been concerned about that you feel you haven't been able to shift. And this is the point of movement, the something, the gift, the idea, the, the person, the something that comes in that creates this turnaround for you. It does feel a little bit like like too good to be true, but actually I think it's it's most definitely very valid and very real. We have the chariot, we have the seven of wands, and we have the king of swords. Not everyone will agree with your course of action. That's what I'm seeing here. Whatever this window of opportunity, some people will not think it's a good idea. But this is about what makes you happy. It's not about what makes anyone else happy. If this is an epiphany, an idea, and you think, oh, you know, I could do this, then embrace it. It's your life. If it feels sweet and it makes you feel happy, it's worthy of doing. Some people will say, well, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't give up the security of your day job. But you'll, you'll get something that makes it possible for you. Something is left behind in order to move towards something that is so, so much better. So much better. Not everyone will approve of this or agree with you. That's the answer. It's not so much approve, but agree. But it doesn't matter because this is doing what's right for you. It's got nothing to do with anyone else at all. This is about what's right for you. I think there's a real golden opportunity coming for you. I really, really do. It really does feel like a miracle, the stuff you only dream of. Now, I don't know what it is for you individually. I don't feel I'm being shown anything very specific. Sometimes we do get specifics in a reading. But I'm not feeling we're being shown that, but this is a, a reading that will reach many. But it, fit, it is a bless. it's literally being handed to you. It's a blessing, it's a gift, it's an opportunity. And it will mean that you leave behind almost whether it's, it's some, some aspect of your life and move into a space where, to be honest with you, I, again, I think you're just gonna love you're going to love every moment of it. It would be like if you met somebody and honestly, you just, you just thought, wow, this person's amazing. And everybody you know says, well, they're not your type or they've got something else to add to it. It, it doesn't matter. Just do what's right for you. Do what's right for you. That's all that is, that is all that's important here. Do what makes you happy and you are going to be fine. Your happiness will ultimately shift everybody else's perspectives because it's going to be uh, contagious is the word. It's going to be contagious. Pile three, this is your reading for August. I, I think for you, August looks like actually a radically amazing month where you really get to grasp something that brings you so much joy and it is worthy of nurturing, it is worthy of moving towards, even if not everybody would agree. And a part of you, this could even be like a part of you, your, your head says, I don't really know if I should be doing this, but your heart says, we're not negotiable on this, we're doing it, it's perfect for us, we are doing it. Come on, you know it, do it. Stop thinking about it, stop denying how you feel about it we need to act, we've got to do this because we will regret it forever if we don't. And actually, I think this is one of those situations where that feels really right. Pile three, thank you for being here. Keep us pasted. I know I say this in all my readings, but it is so wonderful to hear what is happening in your world. It is an absolute privilege and honor to read for you. Thank you for being here. Um, I post these readings on a Tuesday, on a Friday, on a Sunday. If you want to make sure you never miss a reading, subscribe and press a little bell icon. That should work for you. I am sending you so, so much love. And do please keep us posted as to how this pans out for you. As we move through August, you can always you know, check back in on one of the Sunday readings and, and comment there, or you can let us know, or you can always go back to the homepage of the Moon Magic Weekly Tarot channel and just find, find any of the readings, including this one, and come back to it. 
my beautiful pile, um, my pile three, thank you so, so much for being here. It is an honour to read for you. Tons of love.